most commonly asked questions that's posed to me with respect to growing lychees is why doesn't my tree produce fruit? The other one is how long is it going to take after I plant my tree to get fruit on it? Well, lychees grow in recurrent flushes of growth followed by periods of dormancy. As you can see, these trees, uh, it's, it's now about the middle of August, these trees uh, had fruit on them, oh, about uh, four weeks ago. And they were pruned, and you can see we have a nice new growth flush coming on here. The growth flush, in this case, is about eight or nine inches. One of the things that's true about lychees, and I know this sounds kind of strange, is the trees that fruit every year tend to fruit every year. And the reason for that is that trees get pruned. Uh, during the actual harvesting process. Uh, by pruning the tree, it induces, uh, you remove the apical meristem, and what that does is it secretes a hormone that suppresses lateral bud growth. As soon as the, as soon as the tree is pruned and that hormone is removed, you get a, a growth flush. Um, what you want to do with a lychee tree is to reset the growth flush clock to a known point in time. And as if you plot, if you plot these growth flushes out, they, they typically are five, six, seven weeks for the growth to new growth to come out, and then it hardens off, and then it's dormant for a while, and then it, you get a new growth flush. Uh, what you want is for the tree to enter the winter months in a state of dormancy, and then when the tree is breaking buds, if the buds are exposed to temperatures below 68 degrees, they'll emerge as bloom. And what happens is, if, if your tree, say, flushes out in October or November, it may miss that period of time during the winter months when there's cool weather. Um, so if you don't prune your trees, you may go years and not get any fruit. Now, behind me, we have some air layers here. These are air layered sweetheart trees, and you can see the, these trees are ready to go in the ground. As you can see, there's a fairly uh, vigorous uh, root growth. Now, as soon as this tree gets in the ground and the root system can uh, expand, the canopy will expand in proportion to the root system. Now, if you get these trees in the ground now, uh, I would say you have a fairly decent chance of getting fruit this winter. Typically, lychee trees fruit somewhere between typically the middle of January through the middle of February. And during that period of time, you want the tree to be in a dormant state. And when it breaks buds, the buds will uh, emerge as bloom. Now this tree, uh, this was air layered probably about a year and a half ago. And this tree is taken from a tree that's already producing fruit. And it's completely capable of, of fruiting the first year you put it in the ground. Typically. You want the tree to get some decent size to it before you let it fruit because the tree puts a lot of energy into producing the fruit. And what you want the tree to do is put all that energy into getting some decent size. Uh, and then the tree, of course, is, is capable of, of producing a larger crop. Another couple of questions that I'm often asked with regard to growing lychee trees is, how big will my lychee tree get, and do I need more than one tree to get fruit? Well, dealing with the first question, lychee trees will get as big as you let them get. It's not like Jack and the Beanstalk, where you know the next thing you know you, you've got some enormous thing growing in your backyard. But a lot of people have small yards, and they, they don't want this enormous tree, but they do want the fruit. You can very easily and selectively maintain the size and shape of a lychee tree by pruning it. And these trees you see here, this, in my, my mind, this is the optimal size tree. You know, it's about 10 feet, 12 feet. You can reach most of the fruit. You don't have to get on a ladder uh, to, to pick the fruit. These, these trees uh, behind me are somewhat larger, and you do need a picking ladder uh, or a, a forklift to, to uh, a bucket uh, lift to get at the fruit. Um, these trees here uh, behind me are about 16 years old. And they, as you can see, most of them have been pruned and they're in there, uh, they, they all have a fresh flush of growth on. Now, lychee trees produce a panicle of flowers that has both male and female flowers in it. So, technically speaking, you don't need 
more than one tree to get lychees. Obviously, if you have more than one tree, you increase the probability that you're going to have fruit. So I often recommend to people to put several varieties of lychee in. The, the common varieties are Sweetheart, Brewster, and Mauritius. And the, the Sweetheart are the first to produce fruit, typically the last week in May. The Mauritius, uh, typically those fruit come ripe right at the beginning of June for the first couple of weeks in June. And then the Brewster fruit come ripe during the latter half of June through the July 4th weekend. If you have different varieties, you can actually span the full six-week season, uh, which typifies uh, the, the ripening period of lychees. Uh, if you have more than one variety of tree, you also get better cross-pollination. For instance, Mauritius trees will set much heavier quantities of fruit in the presence of Brewsters and Sweethearts because it has to do with the maturation time of the flowers.